While every day seems like a heart-pounding day at Fox News, certain moments with certain hosts get particularly heated. Here's a look at some of the most captivating clips where Fox News hosts totally lose their composure on live TV. Hold on to your hats because you're in for a wild ride. In 2017, James Fields Jr. drove his car into a crowd of counter-protesters that opposed a separate group, which included white nationalist hate groups that was marching, among other reasons, against the removal of a Robert E. Lee monument in Charlottesville, Virginia. As a result, counter-protester Heather Heyer died, and several others were severely injured. After the incident, President Trump made comments that sparked outrage. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. Melissa Francis later tried to defend his comments on Fox's Outnumbered, but when others challenged her, she became overwhelmed with emotion, admitting that she was, quote, so uncomfortable having this conversation. And I don't think anyone is different, better or worse, based on the color of their skin, but I feel like there is nothing any of us can say right now without being judged. Co-host Harris Faulkner then encouraged Francis to stay engaged. This is not 1950. We can do this. It, we can have this conversation. Oh, yes, we can. And it's okay if we cry having it. Francis later tweeted about the outburst, saying, Thank you all so much for your support. I'm embarrassed I got emotional, but it is a raw time for everyone. Forgive my tears. Fox News' The Five is known for its passionate debates, but this clash between Janine Pirro and Juan Williams was even more lively than usual. When discussing the impeachment proceedings against President Trump, Pirro, a conservative judge, seemed to minimize it by calling it a bunch of hogwash and telling people to get over it. But Williams wasn't going to let her get away that easily. He accused her of suggesting people should ignore the impeachment trial altogether, and she went on to imply Democrats were simply trashing Trump as free political advertising which is when things really took off. It's a weak judge. Because okay. it's weak. Here's the thing. For a judge, Every you should know better. I know you a don't lot even more. understand. Do not this go is there. not a Do legal not go there. As the two shouted over each other, Jesse Waters finally broke up the argument, soothing both of the irate co-hosts with his argument that there are many people, quote, brainwashed by the mainstream media. On a heated segment on The Five, co-host Greg Gutfeld got pretty irritated with Geraldo Rivera over gun control, and the two exchanged a war of words. After Rivera went on a long tirade, Gutfeld looked more and more visibly angry, telling Rivera to, quote, let somebody else talk. Gutfeld then accused Rivera of distorting facts about the prevalence of mass shootings by using numbers that were padded by gang shootings. You're being disingenuous. You're saying, like, all these things are happening all the time, and we don't care about dead babies. Screw you. We do care about dead, dead babies. We do. No stranger to on-air confrontation, Rivera jumped right back at Gutfeld, and the two continued to scream over each other. Later, Gutfeld collected himself and addressed Rivera directly. Aralda and I will go back and forth over this till the day we die. We know we will. You, will. you will be on one side, I'll be on the other. But there's one as little... As long as you don't shoot me. Yes, yes. Reactions were mixed after the death of Roger Ailes, the former CEO of Fox News, who resigned amid allegations of sexual harassment. However, one employee who stood by him was Janice Dean on Fox & Friends. As her co-hosts discussed Ailes' professional life on air, Dean lost her composure and wept openly. Through her tears, she explained that Ailes gave her emotional support during a difficult time. When I was diagnosed with MS, he got on the phone and said, whatever we can do for your family, because we were all part of a family. The sentiment certainly was surprising, given his history at Fox and the allegations from other hosts, like Megyn Kelly, who claimed he offered her a promotion in exchange for inappropriate favors. Dean later admitted that Ailes had harassed her too, but she still maintained Mr. Ailes had another side to him. He could be kind and helpful. People who worked for him loved him. He was loyal to the people he hired. When Tucker Carlson disagrees with someone, he never avoids an opportunity to go in for the kill. But when he bared his fangs at writer Lauren Duca, he surprised even himself. Duca was on his show to discuss her opinions about Ivanka Trump and her father's presidency. Once the two got started, however, the conversation quickly went off a cliff. Carlson started quoting an article that Duca wrote for Teen Vogue, challenging some of its assertions. After some back and forth, Carlson proceeded to list several other fluffy celebrity-based headlines by Duca from his notes, including, Ariana Grande rocked the most epic thigh-high boots at Jingle Ball. Duca responded by saying that women can love Ariana Grande and still discuss politics, but shortly after, Carlson cut the interview off. 
All right, I gotta go. You should stick to the thigh-high boots. You're better at that. As Duca's mic was cut off, she fired back, saying, you're a sexist pig. Soon after, in an interview with The Atlantic, Carlson admitted he regretted the interview, saying, I don't ever want to get mad. I think it diminishes me and the show, and I don't want to be that way. He said the reason he got so upset was because of Duca's, quote, unreasonableness. In January 2019, trash TV veteran Geraldo Rivera and conservative host Sean Hannity argued over whether the recent death of a young American at the hands of an illegal immigrant helped make the case for the border wall. Rivera basically accused Hannity of fear-mongering or trying to make an emotional argument about something that's really political. The How Democrats many people have, have to die? Burn. They screamed at each other at full volume for several minutes. Time Fine, talk about Dream of the United talk States. about DACA, the vast, but show up the vast and don't insult the vice president. The vast... Clearly, Hannity's dramatic punditry hasn't gone unnoticed by Rivera, who has also claimed that Hannity's emotional arguments have more political clout than anyone wants to admit. It is grotesquely unfair to it use these anecdotes it's happening. to make a, a political argument. According to The Washington Times, Rivera even once argued that had Hannity been on air during the Watergate scandal, he could have kept President Nixon in the White House. He also asserted that Hannity's show has been keeping President Trump in the White House now, saying, If it wasn't for your show, Sean, they would destroy him absolutely. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite TV hosts are coming Coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.